Tiger Lily Squad. What's poppin'? 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 What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey hey? need to make this a song tiger lily squad gang gang how you living how you breathing how you feeling it is your girl <sighs> essence of shay in the building how y'all doing uh, uh, what's going on y'all see trish do y'all see trish flourishing do you see her out here if you're not following me on social media Follow the girl. I'll be posting updates on Trish over there. Over there. Who am I? I moved to Texas and I have a whole new accent. Like, where did New York at? Anyways, in this video, I will be talking to you about how soon you should wash your starter locks. Now, this is a question that I get all the time. This is also something that I researched heavily when I decided to cut my first set of locks um and started with these the second set and for me the consensus for me was wash every as soon as the first two weeks because your hair just needs to be washed a lot of people and as far as me too goes as knew that had not even knew but were told that um don't wash your hair so much because dirty hair helps with hair growth and i think that statement is wrong i think what people were trying to say is low manipulation helps with hair growth <laughs> but they were too lazy to say that part they just like girl just the yeah, little girl don't wash your hair girl don't do that, girl. Leave it be, girl. And they just meant like, yeah, leave it be, but low manipulation. That don't mean don't wash your hair. So for me, and I think it just depends more so on just the individual, right? Because some people's scalps, they just get really dirty and itchy quicker than somebody else's. So I feel like on a basis like that, I feel like minimum would be two weeks. I feel like that would be a, a minimum would be two weeks. It all depends on the type of lock that you, you want or have. So for instance, comb coils. I feel like comb, comb coils are sensitive um, and washing them so frequently, I feel like they will unravel more so faster, more so than to like free form locks. Like I said, this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. I'm not the end all be all for locks. Um, I do research just like y'all trial and error with myself. So I'm just speaking on what I think. So free form locks, you know, Free from locks, you just basically let your hair just do what it wants to do. You're not messing with it. You're not manipulating it in any capacity. You're just letting it do its thing. So I feel like with that, you could wash it as much as you want, as frequently as you want, low key, because it's just doing, it's the, like the naturalist form of locking your hair, low key, is free forming. When you just let it do, you don't, you just let it do what it wants to do. So with that, washing your hair frequently, I don't really see um, an issue with it. I don't see an issue with it with other forms, but it can like, so two strand twists. Um, I feel like those are a little stronger than comb curls. So you washing it every two weeks. I feel like it depends on the texture of your hair too. So if it was like, let's say a 4C or like a 4A or in the threes, it might unravel quicker before bees the coils are so much tighter um the two strand twist or if the person did your two strand twist good enough no matter what styling or type your hair is i feel like washing it every two weeks um you'll probably have a few that unravels but not as much as comb coils just my opinion so for me i decided that i'm gonna wash and retwist my hair 
once a month for at least the first three months. And then after that, then I'm gonna stretch it out to like, I'm gonna wash it, but I'm not gonna retwist it every month. So I'm gonna still probably wash it like once a month, but I won't retwist it until probably like the following month. But that's just my journey and like just what I want to do. That's why I said it's kind of hard to answer these type of questions because a lot of people take it to the gut like you attacking them. And it's really not. People are just giving their opinions based on what works for them and what they've seen. The people that they're cool with essentially do and it works for them as well. So I feel like with washing your hair in starter locks, I would say if you want my advice, the cusp would be two weeks and then stretch it out to probably like once a month um i feel like don't go over once a month or maybe two but don't go it depends like i said it depends on scalp condition you still want to keep your scalp your scalp clean um you still want to keep the base of where your locks are coming from clean so it just it really it really just depends um but that is like a guideline that i would say i remember somebody telling me once like yo when you start your hair don't um wash your hair for the first three months three months i work out nah like what are you talking about like who about to walk around with funkadelic and holy ghost spirit and people come give them a hug and they be like woof why should i smell like that you try to set me up for the okie doke. Now that I think about it, that person is not a friend. You are 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 not a friend. Anyways, love you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any other tips for people that want to know if they should, when should they start washing their starter locks, leave it in the comment box below i love you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i feel like i said that already see that it's like a lily uh, crash course let me have the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porsche goofy with